everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's speed build is probably one of the longest, well, the longest so far on my channel, and will probably be the longest for a while, unless I actually keep up with this. I did, in fact, remember to hit that video record button on The Sims 4 for quite a few of these. A lot of it is is sped up even more than usual simply because I had I was having problems with um, the layout of the house the floor plan for the house I think this is a house based on uh, based on a house from the design home build the pictures of which you will see at the end of this video of the house itself and the room you were supposed to furnish in the app. So you'll see because the room that that you see at the end it doesn't seem to quite fit the actual outline of the outside of the house. So that's why it's going to look a little different in The Sims 4 in comparison to the picture that you see at the end. So, and then like I said, I didn't have access to the actual floor plans to this, so I just, it took me a little while, a really little while, to figure out what exactly the floor plan was going to look like. So a lot of this I had just left on record. And while I was trying to figure things out, and then sometimes I forgot to hit record because I was like, oh, I, I, I figured this out now, and I can put it together now. And then I was like, oh, now I have to record before I forget. So, yes. And this is all mainly for that little thing. Like, gardens area around the statue. Because <laughs> um, this build was inspired and built in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May is the month of the Blessed Virgin Mary as she is, you know, mother and queen. So it, w it was it's the month dedicated to her motherly tenderness and care for us as you know Jesus asks of her since she was his mother so yeah oh my goodness this um so yes no, Catholics do not worship Mary as God. She is not God. We know this. Prayer is simply just another word for communication, for speaking. Uh, honor is just another word of remembrance. Or, you know, I mean, come on, when the fourth commandment is, says, Honor thy father and thy mother. I highly doubt when someone says, honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, they actually mean to worship her. I have no clue where that connotation came from, or if it's just someone saying, oh, it deals with the Blessed Virgin Mary and everything else gets blocked out and automatically thinks we're just worshiping her simply because we like to talk about her a lot. She's not a very important person in the, you know, in the life of Jesus, okay? She gave birth to him. She helped, brought him into the world and helped him in his re in the redemption. She had a big hand. She was there at the foot of the cross, okay? And when the majority of others left, it is really main three main characters. The mother of Jesus, Mary Magdalene, and St. John, Jesus' favorite disciple. So, I mean, there is a difference between worshipping God and, you know, just praying to someone. 
or asking them to pray on your behalf, you know. Pray, will you pray for me? A lot of words have lost their connotations, and when people who use the old ones talk to people who don't use the old ones, there is a lot of miscommunication and a lot of problems. We need to make sure we are everybody understands what we mean by certain words sometimes provided some of those simple words don't lose their meaning either but yes this was built in honor of Our Lady which is why I chose the house that I did primarily because of that room the room is on white and blue which are the colors of Our Lady and our Supposed to be bees, I'm realizing just now. I forgot to put the bees in. The, yeah, but they're supposed to be bees in this. And I completely forgot about it. I added a flower arranging. They have flower arranging uh, thing. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. And then the woodworking station the flower I'm just going to the flower arranging station and the woodworking station I added those two plus you know plants because I was thinking you know this is going to be a very you know this is a very spring build and um, and yeah so that that statue in the backyard is supposed to be because um, there was an old tradition where you would build gardens in honor of Our Lady, and you'd have the statue of Our Lady in the middle of it, you know, and then, you know, they arranged it nicely. Well, that's supposed to be what the significance of that statue in the back is. He, even though that's obviously not the Blessed Virgin Mary, and because any other statues you have for a woman, Either has them trying to act all sexy like, or there's a fairy. So it's like this is the only option, which I find funny, because everyone's like, "Oh, women shouldn't be, you know, seen as objects," and yet you, yeah, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, this, that was the best statue I could find, and I just, you know, arranged everything around it, obviously. And, did, like I said, did the best I could. I did, in, I, I included a little pool with, like, a little beachy vibe on, because of one of Our Lady's titles, which is the Star of the Sea. Um, and the behind the meaning behind that is that Our Lady um, is not our mediator, or the mediator, or the one who you know gives us grace, or is you know the source of all grace or anything like that. The star of the sea is that she is like the North Star, where she leads us home, but she is not home itself. If you catch my meaning, you know, she knows the way and she can lead us there. Yes, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and the life. But Mary knows the way, and so you know she knows how to best find it. Not that Jesus, you know, can't show us the way, or that we don't ask him to show us the way. It's just when you have a large family, it's always nice to know your siblings have your back and can help you if, you know, if they want to help you, let them help. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, God can do everything on his own, but he also assigns guardian angels to people. Let's be friends with them. We're, if we're going to see them one day in heaven, why not befriend them? They're the ones
ones who are taking orders from God over our well-being. I mean, it's only fair. So, but, yeah. Anyways, back to the build. This was built in honor of Our Lady. Um, and... So, a lot of the... I try to incorporate a lot of... Marian themes. If you're a Catholic, you'll probably catch a lot of them. If you're not, don't worry about it. If you if you don't want to become a Catholic, and you know love Our Lady the way we love her and the way Jesus loves her, then don't worry about it. You don't have to go looking for it. But I hope you enjoy the enjoy at least have enjoyed the build so far. I and despite some of the troubles I had with it. Um, I hope to take a break from The Sims. I mean, not only that, I've got to get back to writing. I'm, I've got four story, four fan fictions going at the same time. I've got an original series that I'm hoping to get underway this summer, along with two other fan fictions. So it's, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be busy for a while. And that's why I like working at a high school, because I can have my summers off and then I can concentrate on on writing and doing The Sims 4. And, you know, now that I've started doing my own YouTube channel, I can focus on that, too. I'm going to, hope, speaking of, I'm going to have a schedule of things soon, I hope. So far, only I only have a plan for January, February, and March of next year. That's all I have right now. Um, maybe I'll have one for... Well, yeah, I'm going to have one for April, too. Now that I'm stopping to think about it. But, um... But, yeah. It's, then the, these next few months until January, it's going to be... A, it's going to be hit and miss, and probably mostly Sims 4 content. At least until, you know, I figure out exactly what I want to do and what books I'm going to end up doing. But, yeah, we'll see. So anyways, so that, this, we're coming here to the end of this video. I thank you for stopping by, and thank you for listening to my little thing. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you stay safe out there. Our Lady, Mother of Jesus, pray for us.